Hello everyone, Marnafa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Miles Morales Bodega Catsuit Edition from the Spider-Man video game. Guys, I can't wait to show you all the details. But before we start, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, posting videos and live streams, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, enough with the talking, let's start with the unboxing, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, and here we have the box, and as you can see we have Miles Morales and the cat in the front, this is the Bodega Catsuit Edition, this is the side of the box with a nice red pattern there, Miles Morales, this is the back with all the currents and warnings, small pieces, this is the other side of the box with a continuation of the red and black pattern, this is the bottom, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Last but not least, the top, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. All right, so now let me open this cover here, or remove the cover, rather. And as you can see, we have a very nice window covering here with Spider-Man, Miles Morales logo in the middle. And of course, the figure and a bunch of accessories inside. All right, so now let me crack this baby open and see what else we have in the packaging. And as you can see, guys, this figure is fully loaded with accessories. And that's a huge plus. Now let me remove the first trade on the top because as you can see we have a bunch of stuff going on especially that adorable adorable little cat so now let me open this if I can because I'm struggling you can see a bunch of hands the eyes the coffee headphones and of course the cutie kitty cat now let me show you the figure and the first thing brand new smell of a hot toys and let me remove the plastic here so you can appreciate the beautiful Hescope here, Miles Morales here guys, you can see him, the cat, a bunch of lightning effect, the uh, base at the bottom, and that's basically it. Alright, so now let me take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories. And here we have all the accessories, and yes, we're gonna start with the, yes, the same spider web that always comes with this particular figure, so really nothing new in this area. Same thing with this other spider web here. Again, you know, really nothing new, but I guess it will do the effect and the job just fine. Now, let me show you the base, guys. And as you can see here, I didn't take the plastic because it is the same boring base. But they got cat suit in the name tag, bottom with the marble logo there. And that's basically it for the base. Pretty much simple. Then we have two beautiful cats here. So let me show you both because they're cute. You can see one is kind of like standing, the other one is sitting, pretty much the same design. Very nice paint application, of course. This is the bottom, the top of the cat, and that's basically it. All right, so now let me show you guys this box here. I guess it's a present. <laughs> I don't know, but it's uh, pretty much uh, wrapped in a newspaper, as you can see here, looking really good. And then we have this beautiful roller blades. And let me tell you guys, this look amazing. I kind of like the detail in here, as you can see the wheels and those, um, I guess, you know, paint application very nicely done on the side. And of course you have the little jet effect, I guess, looking really good. So this is a really great addition for this particular figure, if you ask me. Then we have these two little bases here. One you can put actually on the backpack and the other one is just to make the cat stand. So you can use that one if you want. Then we have the cell phone here, and as you can see, very plain plastic little piece, but I guess it will give you the effect that this is a cell phone. We have a coffee cup right here, looking really good, and talking about coffee, shout out to my friend Aries, because he always liked to spill coffee. <laughs> then we have this interchangeable eyes, and yes, these are magnetic as well. Very nice paint application, especially that bright red, looking really good. As you can see at the bottom, there is a magnet. All right, so now moving on to the next one, because you know we have a lot of accessories here. We have the backpack, similar to the previous Miles Morales version, looking really good. This is plastic, and I kind of like the design. I think this is a really good addition, especially this little piece here that you can change. You can take this out and put the cut inside, so not bad at all. Then we have these two effects here, more like electric yellowish effect. So pretty simple, but I think it looks really good, especially if you want to do some really cool poses. Then we have these headphones here. You can see black and red. Pretty simple. I think, you know, nothing spectacular, but I think it will do the job just fine. 
we have this little sketchbook here and as you can see nice cover here and as you can see inside there's some encryptions inside you know i just opened the middle but you know you, you get the idea you can see that that's the middle and you have some you know designs in other pages then we have the web shooter here so you can actually change it and put it on the spidey's hand if you want talking about hands we have a bunch of hands a lot of hands for this particular figure so i'm just going to show you two so you'll get the idea nazi painted in red and black and that's basically it for the accessories and the hands all right guys let me show you the figure and here we have Miles morales guys and let me tell you he looks good he looks really good especially that beautiful hoodie now let me get my tape and see how tall this figure actually is and Miles morales is about 12 inches tall all right guys so now let's take a closer look at the details and see what else this figure has to offer and the first thing the hascope looking really good with those big eyes in the front you can see the design on the helmet of course you can see on the hascope rather not the helmet <laughs> you can see the back of the neck let me just fix it a little bit kind of like different colors seems to be i guess one is more shinier than the other this is the top very nice and of course you can change and take uh, off the eyes right moving on to the actual hoodie here love the spada logo in the front as you can see here now those pockets are functional so you can actually you know put the hands in there you can see in the sleeves we have the web shooter attached so that's a huge plus and of course the soft material on this particular figure now underneath we have a white t-shirt right you can see that pretty much soft material and that's it and underneath nothing fabric it's just the uh, pants bottom is good top is just plain right you can see the detail and the pattern on the legs looking really good especially that spidey design you can see the boots and of course the sneakers or the shoes you can see the red and black color looking really good and underneath pretty much simple no weathering whatsoever i'm okay with that now you can see the back of the figure and of course the booty yes you can see um uh, spider-man's booty here same as the front nothing in the back the hoodie here is wired so if you put it on like so you can pretty much shape it any form you want and that's basically it for this now for the articulation guys you can move the head up this much down this much to the sides this much not bad right to the joints on the arms you have some swivel here on the biceps you can move it forward for about this much and back for about this much not bad at all now you can do a double uh, vented double joint and you have the classic pick articulation on the hand now for the torso you have some swivel here and a lot of up crunch so that's huge for articulation right to right, the joints as well just be careful with the material because of the creasing between those joints some swivel here you can uh, lift the leg for about this much back for about this much not bad you can bend the knee double joint not bad at all and last but not least some articulation up and down and swivel on the feet and that's basically it all right guys so now let's do some comparison here here we have mas morales next to the homemade suit spidey and yes they look really good together as you can see pretty much the same height now for the next one i have to include yes nine monkey looking really good with the peter parker has hope looking amazing and again pretty much the same height and last but certainly not least one of my favorite spider-man figures the upgrade suit spidey and yes that black and red looks amazing all right guys enough with the comparison let's do some poses <laughs>
Alright guys, my final thoughts about this figure is actually very positive. Starting with the likeness, I think this is a really good representation of Miles Morales as seen in the video game. This figure comes with a lot of accessories, especially those two beautiful cats, the backpack, the box, the headphones, the roller braids, you name it. Now the articulation of this figure is actually pretty good, so you can definitely do really nice dynamic poses. Just be kind of careful with the pants, uh, because if you leave it vented for uh, too long, it might cause some damage. Now, because it has a hoodie, right, this is fabric, you would not have any issues with the articulation on the arms. You can bend it, leave it there for a long time with no problem whatsoever. And because of that, my final score is 9 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group Six Skill Media for anything related once those skill figures. Both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.